Uh, what's up guys? Pasay Baller here. We are now in this 11th game for today, January 4, 2023. This is the game between Miami Heat and Los Angeles Lakers, which will happen at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. That's going to be 11 o'clock a.m. here in Manila. I'm just inviting everyone who have not subscribed yet to our YouTube account or YouTube channel, Pasay Baller. Please click on the subscribe button below. At the same time, hit on that bell logo. That way, automatically, you guys will be receiving notifications whenever new videos are uploaded. By the way, the spread given in here is minus 4, and that's given towards the visiting team, Miami Heat. Now, let's take a look at the uh, standings and the rankings of both teams. Let's start off with Miami Heat, uh, which belongs to the Eastern Conference. They are number 7 in the East with a record of 20 wins and 18 losses. While for Los Angeles Lakers, they are from the West and they are currently at number 13 with a record of 16 wins and 21 losses. Alright, so on this game, uh, Los Angeles Lakers would enjoy the home court advantage at Crypto.com Arena. Um, in terms of fatigue, both teams uh, are coming off rest day, so we can skip that part. In terms of um, uh, momentum, um, both are actually having back-to-back -back wins approaching this game, but I'm going to give it to Miami Heat. Because uh, for their last 10 games, they have been more consistent as for their last 10 games. They have won 7. As compared to Lakers, they have only won just 5. And let's take a look at the uh, availability of the players and the health of uh, uh, both teams. So let me just uh, refresh my page right here. For the uh, Los Angeles Lakers, Davis is still out. Um, LeBron James is listed as questionable along with Lonnie Walker and for uh, Russell Westbrook he's actually listed as probable for this game. Now for Miami Heat, um, as always, this is a long list. Um, uh, uh, Jovic and Yurtsevin um, out for this game. Um, for Deadman, he's listed as questionable. Uh, while we have uh, uh, Caleb Martin Gabe Vincent listed as probable, and Duncan Robinson is in day-to-day -day or game-time decision. Right, so I'm not sure about this, but I'm going to give it to Los Angeles Lakers, even though they have, uh, I was about to say, I'm going to give it to Miami because uh, those who are out in the, in the Lakers uh, team are actually their stars, right? Or perhaps possibly out. I'm talking about LeBron uh, hurting um, with his hurt ankle. Um, of course, we all know Davis is already out, so I can just imagine. I, I can only imagine if Davis is out, then LeBron will be out too. I mean, right? So, uh, but yeah, let's give it. Let's give the advantage towards the LA Lakers in, at this point. All right. So the Los Angeles Lakers, they have had uh, a couple of wins approaching this one, and uh, thanks uh, to their star LeBron James. Um, LeBron James have actually shown his. Um, his usual LeBron James uh, uh, performance on those last two wins. So um, uh, I'm not sure if he would actually have another another game uh, like that on this one. Well, not even sure if he would even be suiting up in the first place. For Miami Heat, uh, they've had back-to-back -back wins as well approaching this one. Um, one of which is that crazy buzzer-beating shot um, of Tyler Hero. And it seems like uh, there are no issues with the uh, uh, availability of Jimmy Butler in this game. So um, it's like uh, consistency, that's Miami Heat, versus um, the momentum that LeBron James has. Um, but since, you know, we, again, we, we ain't sure about the status of LeBron. We ain't sure about, you know, how, how healthy he is in, in any case that he will be suiting up. I'm going to still side with Miami Heat. They are the more consistent team. They have the better record. Um, they have more options. I mean, LeBron James, I understand that he can actually do that like in every night. But, of course, there will be nights um, which can't be like that, right? If you know what I'm saying. So, um, I'm going to side with the Miami Heat. They got more uh, weapons. They got more options. Um, and uh, the spread of minus four is not that you know, not that hard to cover, especially um, if you got Tyler here around you, Duncan Robinson. They have a lot of shooters. They have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of bigs who can actually take care of those offensive rebounds and put back. So my pick would be Miami Heat minus four. Again, that's Heat minus four. Peace out. Pasay love and God bless.